Welcome, viewers, young and old. It's time to watch three random old wrinkly men duke it out in some hand-me-down bumper cars. Hey, I'm not that old just yet. Be quiet and take the Elbarak. We all know you deserve it. Let the never-ending circle of rivalry continue, I guess. Time to see who's better at managing the economy. Barack, I still find it so pointless to figure out who is better at managing the economy. It's clear I'm the only one who lowered inflation during my presidency. Actually, no, you didn't. As soon as COVID broke out into a global pandemic, you pretty much just sat at the Oval Office and twiddled your thumbs while inflation skyrocketed. By the time I entered the Oval Office, I had to clean up the inflation problem that still persists even now. That's absolutely wrong. We both know that inflation rose because of your big spending policies in order to address so-called problems like infrastructure and support for Obamacare. I like that. Of course you do. It's because you're biased. Fine then. Let's settle this with a good battle. All you have to do is collect more coins than the other team. And all you have to do is sit there and act sleepy. Let the real grown-ups show you how to count coins, Joe. Where are we anyway? It looks so... Oh, come on. Why did I fall off the ramp? I was going to do an epic jump. What's the matter, Donald? Don't know how to drive straight? What's the matter, Joe? Does a tiny little ramp scare you that much? Fair enough. I'm still amused at the fact that this is supposed to be a game, and yet you two turned it into a literal debate. Don't think you're exempt from this debate either, Barack. Your initial spending solutions for the recession were garbage. That's what started inflation in the first place. Are we just going to ignore the fact that I'm leading over Donald's team by a whopping 23 points? Don't worry, Joe. My comeback hasn't started just yet. Once I hit my stride, then you and your team are finished. It's as if you said that exact phrase a million times now, and yet you still haven't been able to produce a clear and decisive victory. Let him believe what he wants, Barack. But he's not going to ignore this, right, Donald? Oh, shut up and give me a break already. Speaking of, Joe, you're doing great, man. Your points alone are beating the red team's collective points. Thanks, man. It's really not that hard, to be honest. Speak for yourself. It's bad enough that there are no coins around. It's twice as annoying to have two loudmouth Democrats constantly flaunting their skills over me. Because we speak the truth? No, because you speak the truth that only diehard Democrats would buy. Unlike your brain-dead voters, my Republican voters can see through the lies and deception the Democratic Party tries to convince the American public. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. If you go to even one Donald Trump rally, you can plainly see how many lies and conspiracy theories are taken at face value with absolute seriousness. It's kind of sad. No, my coins. Finally, my teammates always come through when it matters most. Comeback really starts now. Don't speak too soon. Joe may be down, but it's going to take a lot more to keep him down. You're damn right. Just for getting too confident. Take this, Donald. Oh, what the hell, Joe? Moving on, what are your opinions on Mario Kart as a whole, Joe? Frankly, it is rather boring, especially if you are fighting against other bot characters. However, if you have friends, then the experience becomes 10 times more enjoyable because of all the goofy stunts and races we can all enjoy. I can agree with most of what you said. Personally, I enjoy the battles way more than the actual races. What about you, Donald? If it wasn't obvious, I definitely prefer the races way more than the battles. It's more tense and action-packed in a race, especially with friends. Battles are kind of pointless because, again, it only emphasizes how to turn a bumper car and shoot shells. Speaking of shells, you must be blessed or something, Donald. There's no way a regular player would be able to obtain the number of red shells you are receiving as items. What can I say? It takes strength and unrelenting resolve in order to stand out as a leader. As the leader of the red team, I won't back down, so old Sleepy Joe over here takes the victory. Oh, not again. Yeah, eat the asphalt, Joe. You guys are neck and neck. Not for long. Come on, stupid teammates. Don't hold back now. We're so damn close. My team won. Let's go. And that's the round. Damn, you guys were really close in terms of points. Barack, it wasn't close. If I hit that last blue member, I knew he would have rained out his coins and my team would have won. The game purposefully stopped the match just early enough before my red shell could hit Joe's teammate. It wasn't close at all. And don't you dare say it was just like the just like the 2020 election. Sometimes things are just that obvious. Well played for the both of you, but let's move on to round two. We're going to Funky Stadium again. Wait, why here? We just played this map. I want a rematch. I got scammed by the far left in a video game and I just can't have that stand. Well, good luck trying to beat Joe again. On that note, you guys just gave me an idea. What's that? How about team races? What the hell is that? Team races are pretty self-explanatory. You are put into a team of racers, and your goal is to beat the other team in a race. 
The various placements on the leaderboard after the race determines how many points your team receives. Whichever team has the most points basically wins the race. That sounds like a pretty good idea. It takes the aspects of both racing and teamwork together. Wait, so are you saying we should do a team race soon, Joe? Honestly, it seemed more like a thought rather than an actual idea we should implement. But what do you think, Donald? For once, it would be nice. I'm not saying that just because I want to play with you guys. I'm saying this would be a good idea for me to show our viewers how much I can carry you guys. It would also show that without a doubt, I am the single greatest Mario Kart racer of all time. Keyword being racer, not player. Okay, I know the three of us have very different views on how to handle the economy, but can we all at least agree that the economy is hard to deal with? Not gonna lie, the recession was tough for me to solve. Keep in mind, I was a young senator that was just elected into office at the time. I will give you credit where it's due, Barack. Times during the Great Recession were tough, especially for those in the housing market and the stockholders. Yeah, Barack kept consulting my advice during the crisis, and it was admittedly a tough time for everyone. It was all thanks to some people deciding to bet against the housing market. Actually, I gave you a well-balanced and stable economy, Donald. How did you manage to mess it all up and cause inflation to spike again? Listen, it's not my fault COVID entered America. My advisors assured me that this virus would disappear and would never be seen again. Makes sense if you add a bunch of clueless advisors to the executive branch. Welcome to Donald Trump's White House. Oh, shut up. But anyways, I will admit a majority of a stable economy did come from Obama's second term. I will say I made the economy better by pushing for our American companies to stay here in America. And I was left with the mess that was the single deadliest pandemic in American history, the highest unemployment rate in history, and a rising inflation rate that the country has rarely seen. Thanks, Trump. Regardless, the economy is a hard concept to grasp. Although I am the most qualified to take on the issue of the economy, even the greatest and brightest of our leaders tend to struggle with broad concepts. Except George, because he started all of this. Yeah, now that you mention it, wasn't it George's fault that we got here in the first place? When I get my hands on him, I'll... At least we can all agree that the economy is hard to solve. Thanks for the encouragement, guys. Damn it, I'm getting harassed by Joe's Democratic colleagues. At the end of the day, it's all about getting the gold, or rather coins, for your team. Get joned. What kind of insult was that? I'm pretty sure you meant to say get owned, right, Sleepy Joe? Nope, this time I meant what I said, and the game is mine to win. It's not over yet. I'm going to come back here. Just watch. Let's see it then. I think you're screwed here, Don. Damn it. Well, I had fun playing Mario Kart, but what now? Hmm, good question. Forget it. I just want to play something else so I can calm down. Okay, we can play something more casual then. What did you have in mind? You're just going to have to find out next time. If there's one thing I hate more than getting owned is stupid cliffhangers.